Morning guys, what is going on? I'm about to leave to go to Harry's um, and fit this stage 2 intercooler. Um, I'll keep you posted as I go along, but basically I'm literally just going to try and do a voiceover of most of it um, because there's loads of bolts, bolts to undo and yeah, it'll just be easier to voice over it and tell you basically how it went um, from that. So the next time you see me will be probably when I'm on Harry's driveway, so we'll see you then. I'm at Harry's already, we've already started. Today's the stage two intercooler day. We've already got a few bolts off. Camera set up on time lapse. Um, so I'm not gonna mess about with the intro. I'm just gonna show you how to fit the stage two intercooler and I'll explain it all in a voiceover from the hyperlapse. So take it steady guys and enjoy the video. Right guys, I'll try and explain it the best I can. Um, but basically, the first step that we did was we removed both of the, um, the driver side light and the passenger side light. Um, everybody who's taken these out will know they basically contain um, two bolts and I think one push clip. Um, you can either do them with a Torx bit, I'm not exactly sure what the size is, or I just used a flathead screwdriver because it was way easier than fiddling through Harry's toolbox trying to find the, um, the right size Torx bit. So that was the first bit. Once your lights are out and obviously you've got to make sure the, um, the clips on the back are done um, from the lights so you can take them out, it's really really easy. You'll then see that I, um, I turned the wheel there to the left hand side when we were doing the driver side arch and it was just to make it a lot easier um, to get to the arch line of bolts. Um, they are quite awkward but once you've got them out it just gives you a lot more access to the, um, the three awkward bolts that are located behind the headlights that you need to get out. Um, to get the actual to get the bumper free so um, obviously you'll see that um, and then the next step after that was basically just a case of going around as I hadn't done this before Harry had done it but obviously trying to remember where all the bolts were was a little bit awkward and um, like I say it's literally just a case of going around finding all of the push clips in the plastics um, that are located obviously holding it all in I realized there was three once we got a couple of the bits of plastic off there's also three bolts underneath that actually hold sort of the bumper to like a plastic under tray. They were a little bit awkward to get to and a little bit fiddly, but then we ended up jacking up the car, which you'll see on the video, um, just to get to those three bolts. They weren't too bad. They were just a little bit awkward, um, but anybody with any decent tools can definitely be able to do that. So that was the next bit. Uh, then as you'll see, me and Harry gingerly pulling away the bumper there. Basically, there was just two little fog lights as well at the bottom, obviously, that you need to be aware of. Don't just yank the bumper away in haste. Um, basically, just make sure that we, we didn't disconnect the bulbs or anything or disconnect the loom. We literally just turn, turned it and took it out. It's like a push and twist. Um, and it just seemed a lot easier to do that and let it hang there. As we were doing a driveway, we wanted to kind of do minimal work and, you know, have less to remember, basically. I mean, Harry did most of the work and you'll see that throughout the video. So, massive shout out to Harry. Um, you know, you know, because I really am not a mechanic, but we did it, and um, that was the bumper off. One quick thing I do want to say, though, guys, is it does just show, even if you're not a mechanic like me, if you've got, you know, a willing friend that's there that's able to help you, you know, I sort of got talked through the process, and you know, you'll see me undoing a few bits. Um, and it's nice to get your hands dirty and get involved in doing things with your car because then, you know, you appreciate the car a little bit more and you appreciate sometimes what garages actually have to go through to get parts done. I thought this was literally just going to be like an hour's job. Obviously, like I said earlier, it took about two and a half hours, I think, two hours. And we did take it a little bit steady. Obviously, the whole time lapse wasn't filmed because it ended up just my battery died. But it is what it is and you guys have got the footage that you've got and you'll see most of what you need to see. Um, but yeah, it was just interesting to do, you know, it's a very, very good mod to have as I'm going stage two soon, so hopefully I'll be able to show you the power of that. What you will have also seen there is in the intercooler pipes, when we just quickly pulled that off, um, you might have to go back a bit, but um, Harry removed some sludge out of there, so an oil catch can is definitely on the cards for me next year also. And then as you'll see now, guys, it was literally just a case of getting the MTC intercooler, putting it on, and then all the awkward stuff started. Trying to get everything to fit around it was super awkward. 
things did need to be cut which I didn't do on the day we ended up just kind of bodging it for now but it is on it's performing well it just needs to be tinkered with at a later date in terms of the actual fitment um, of the bumper and stuff like that but it's all together and I'm absolutely buzzing with it the intercooler looks amazing so to be fair for the price of it I definitely definitely can't grumble This is when you know that Jamie Pudney is not a mechanic. Um, <laughs> we ended up having to take loads of the bits of plastic that we just put on all off again to basically realise that we needed to get to other bolts and bits to actually tighten up. There was a couple of Jubilee clips that didn't want to play ball to start with because they were a little bit rusted. So once again, Harry came to the rescue and had a couple of new um, hose clips for me. So they're all nice and tight. Right, like I said guys, I am sort of doing it as we go. Everything's off. Harry's cleaning the sludge out of the boost hoses. Intercooler hoses, sorry. Um, but yeah, the size difference is madness. That's well thick and obviously the old one's super thin. I mean, it's literally like, that's what's coming out of the um, intercooler hoses. So I'm definitely gonna, gonna get, gonna, 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 gonna get an oil catch can at some point because apparently that helps that. Um, but anyway, that's the cooler. It's an MTC one, probably gets slated in the comments, but they're supposed to be decent. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. Right guys, as you can tell, we're back at mine. It is done, but this is not something that I would recommend um, to fit yourselves at home. It is not a straight fit. It wasn't straightforward. It took, it took me and Harry about, probably about two and a half hours in total, so it wasn't exactly the quickest process, so it's not something that I'd recommend to anyone that's looking to do it themselves. It'll be really awkward and fiddly. Um, it's not a perfect fit now. Things do need to be cut. I think there's a couple of plastic under trays and stuff that do need to be cut to make it fit exactly right. People did tell me this before I fitted the intercooler, but because I had it so cheap, I wanted to fit it anyway, and I'm just gonna use it until it dies or until it breaks. Um, you know, I'm only going stage two for now, so I can't see the reason to upgrade to anything different that's going to cost me loads until I've obviously destroyed this one or it breaks or whatever. Um, but I'll flip the camera around in a second to show you what it's looking like through the grill. It's pretty plain and simple. It's an MTC intercooler. It's nothing special. They're not expensive. Um, but look, there's no engine management lights, and I'll let you know what it runs stage two when I have the um, dyno in a few days. Right. So she's in there, it focuses. Like I say, it is running, it is not the best. I'm just gonna get in the car to quickly explain because it is nowhere near 100% fit. Um, it, the way it fits on is not ideal at all. Um, lots of bits have had to be we needed like four pairs of hands to get everything excuse me everything where it, where it is it was really really fucking awkward to get it fitted um i like i say i did get told a lot of times that it was going to be awkward to fit but didn't quite realize how awkward we've got it on um, and it's fine for now, but like I say, some stuff does need to be hacked away down there. I mean, some of the plastic that's down there, in fairness, is not actually needed when you upgrade to like a stage two or three in the cooler anyway. So, but I, and I've managed to put it all back and we've got one bolt missing, which is one of the push clips, which is nothing anyway, um, which was actually missing in the first place. So we haven't actually missed out any bolts. We've got them all back in, all the arch liner bolts, everything is back. Um, I'd recommend the intercooler. The intercooler is supposed to be quite good, and when I go stage two, like I say, I'll be able to tell you guys a little bit more. But for now, it'll do. It was cheap, like I say, and um, yeah, I'm happy with the intercooler. Just not exactly the easiest thing to fit. I think I'd rather just pay a garage next time because it was fucking awkward to fit. I just wanted to say thank you all for watching. Um, I'm going to leave some links down below in the description. Um, I'll try and link in basically this. This design is now live on Amazon. Um, I'm only 
just so you guys are aware, I'm just doing it obviously so that I can make a little bit more money to put towards some, basically some camera gear. I just want all you guys, I'm just being open and honest, to have them from the start. I really want to get a GoPro Hero 7. One of the main reasons for that is because I want to do some, like, when I do these car reviews and review my own car at some point, I want to do, like, exterior exhaust clips of light and just other exterior clips and what I can't get with either my phone or this vlogging camera because that is all this is. Um, so I basically just wanted to say any of you guys that are interested in buying I've got on there at the moment I think that's live is jumpers, hoodies and t-shirts but I would really appreciate if any of you would buy them or any of you would want them. I appreciate it's not everyone's cup of tea because it's my logo. But any of you that are interested, please do click the link in the description and please patch on from Amazon because that would help me out. I earn about three quid per t-shirt, so it's going to take me a while, but at least it's something out of nothing. Um, I've actually had to work quite hard to get it all set up, but it is all live and working now, hopefully. They did say it was going to be done today, so fingers crossed. If it isn't, then there won't be a link. But thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate all the support. I've just hit over a thousand followers on Instagram as well, so that's huge for me. Um, doesn't mean a lot to a lot of people, but it does to me. And I've, I'm, I think I'm over 210 subscribers on YouTube now, which is absolutely amazing. So thank all of you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. And I hope this was a little bit informative about the intercooler. Cheers, guys.